Hey everyone, this is Kristen coming to you again from Chronicles of a Christian Girl. I am delighted to be here again to share with you once again one of the things that the Lord has been really um, <laughs> showing me, which is it's amazing to be in this place with Him. Um, just so you know, my eye on this side is a little red, very itchy. I'm having a little bit of an allergy um, reaction. So, please <laughs> pardon my appearance. But let us just dive into what God is saying today. I know that it is, it is for... I can't say how many, but there, it is for it's for many that are in a season of transition with God, um, and it's always with God. It's never by yourself um, that you do what you do, right? So wherever you're at, and I just want to throw that out there, wherever you are at in your walk with God, remember it is always with God. You're not by yourself. He says, "I will never leave you nor forsake you." I will be with you even unto the ends of the earth. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. So I had this vision yesterday morning. And it was beautiful. And I feel that so many of us, so many of you are in this position right now with Jesus. And... Uh, I have one scripture to share and praise God I also have because I want you guys to have a visual I know not everyone is from New York I want you to have a visual of what I was where I was um so I'm gonna show you a little bit of a clip so you'll have an idea of where I was and what it looked like to me um so I was standing let's just jump right in I was standing on a platform. So I'm at a train station. I'm standing on a platform and the train is pulling into the station. And the train is at the Atlantic Avenue train station. So those of you who are in New York or who are familiar with New York, you may have an idea where the station is. It's in East New York. It's not the one on Flatbush. It's in East New York. So I was standing on this. It's a high platform train station. And I was standing there and the train was pulling in. And there was this guy uh, that was standing with me. And we was about to get on the train. And while I was just getting on the train, I just looked out into, because it's an open, on the open area, right? There's just buildings around. And I looked out and I saw this beautiful what looked to me at the time was a sunrise. It, it looked so beautiful. It looked like it was so big and just so, it was so close. And, um, and it, was, it was just so beautiful. I stared at it. And in that moment, while I was staring, you know, like in visions, you could just, like, I believe that the Holy Spirit kind of gives you a sense of what he's saying in your spirit. You don't really know that it's happening. You just sense it in your spirit that this is what's happening, right? So I could sense in my spirit that uh, something is happening, like I'm saying goodbye. And it's, this is not just for me, it's for some of you also that are saying, you are saying a goodbye, a goodbye to a job. You're saying a goodbye to a closed door, wherever God has placed you, right? Wherever God has put you, God is now closing certain doors and He's causing you to say goodbyes to certain things, right? I, I could sense in my spirit that there was some permanent goodbyes. And then I could sense, sense in my spirit that there was some goodbyes for now. Um, I could sense that there were some things that God needed to uh, take you away from. Uh, I don't know exactly for what. It may be different for each person. But at a later time, he will reconnect um, those relationships. But it was very important. Um, it was very important that you go, like you go with him. So let me just say, I was standing there. I saw the sunset. 
there was a man there. I wrote it down. I didn't recognize him. This man was Jesus, right? I knew in, in a vision, I knew he was Jesus. He was just standing there. He was waiting for me to get on the train with him. So just before getting on the train, I couldn't help but notice the sun. Um, it was so beautiful. It looked like the sun was rising, but in fact, it was happening in the West. So there's no way the sun could rise in the West. The sun rises in the East and it sets in the West, right? So while I was going over the vision, I realized that it wasn't a sunrise that I was seeing. It was a sunset. And because it was a sunset, because it was um, setting in the West, I knew that God was saying, um, that there were some things that was coming to a close, coming to an end. And I understood, I understood that. And as I soaked up this sight of this beautiful sun, it was time for me to board the train. I had to catch the train. I was headed somewhere, but not sure where. I was with Jesus, so I was at peace. I was safe. I could tell he was taking me to promises fulfilled. The sun going down meant there were goodbyes that were being made. There are some goodbyes some of us are making. It wasn't bitter, but it was just hard to say goodbye. Hence the pause at the setting sun. Also not wanting to leave but Jesus was with me and we had a train to catch. I could tell, I could tell I, I, if I didn't leave with him, he wouldn't be able to fulfill some things. His will couldn't be done. So I had to. Where I was going was amazing. I could feel the peace and rest beckoning to me. So I felt, so I left with Jesus and the vision ended. All right, so let me, let me just go over that. So I was standing on a platform. The, trains, uh, the train station was Atlantic Avenue train station. I saw the train pulling in and I was getting on. There was a man there and I didn't recognize him, but I knew we were acquainted. This man was Jesus. Just before getting on the train, I couldn't help but recognize the sun. I was, it was so beautiful. It looked like the sun was rising, but in fact, because it, it was happening in the West, I understood it was setting in the West. As I soaked up the site, it was time for me to board the train. I had a train to catch. I was headed somewhere, but not sure where. I was with Jesus, so I was at peace. I was safe. I could tell he was taking me to promises fulfilled. The sun was going down, meant there were goodbyes that were being made. There are some goodbyes some of us are making. It wasn't bitter, but it was just hard to say goodbye. Hence the pause at the setting sun. Almost not wanting to leave, but Jesus was with me and we had a train to catch. I could tell if I didn't leave with him, he wouldn't be able to fulfill some things. He couldn't, his will, sorry, his will couldn't be done. So I had to. Where I was going was amazing. I could feel the rest and peace beckoning onto me. So I left with Jesus and the vision ended, right? So it was a beautiful moment, but it was also a difficult moment. And I feel that, excuse me, my eye is itching. Um, I have some allergies. You could probably see that it's red, so please excuse me. Um, but I could see, hallelujah, that um, there's a time coming 
and uh, I, I could sense that it, it's a it's something that would happen quickly because it was like almost as if he was hurrying me along and he wasn't allowing me to um, stay too long at the sunset going down. He wasn't allowing me to wallow in the goodbyes. Um, and I think that is what is going to be happening for some of you. A lot of times God will show me visions of myself, but it's not just for me and sometimes it's not for me at all. It may be completely for someone else. Um, you take what's for you, I'll take what's for me, right? So you're standing at a place where you're going with Jesus. You're going with him to a place that he has prepared or a time and a place that he has prepared for you, right? And this is going to happen quickly because the train came and you were getting on the train and that moment, that split moment of looking at the sunset was you saying goodbye to it may be a job, it may be uh, people, it may be family for some, right? It may be um, loved ones, it may be an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, um, it may be uh, whatever that may be for you. Um, it may be a, a, a church, right? So whatever that may be for you, God is saying that there, there are some goodbyes that are coming. Um, I also could tell that there were some permanent goodbyes. There were some permanent goodbyes and there were some goodbyes that were goodbye for now and I'll see you another time. I'll be back. Um, I could tell that it wasn't like something that would happen quickly, like they were, you would have been gone for some time, like there was some time they wouldn't see you, so you would be missed. But God would reconnect those relationships. And then there were some relationships that were a permanent goodbye. You would not see those people again. Um, so, which is, which is, you know, hard which was the reason why I paused. And I think at that moment, something in me was like, oh, I don't know if I could say goodbye. And all at once, I felt in my spirit that Jesus was saying, if you don't leave, I can't do what I have to do here. If you are not in your place and your place that you had is not vacant, I cannot fulfill my purpose here. So I'm saying to you, don't get in the way of what God is doing. God has a plan and a purpose for everything that he does. Uh, sometimes we, because of our emotions, could keep ourselves back um, from fulfilling God's will in the earth because we don't wanna, we don't wanna say goodbye. We wanna hold on. We wanna, you know, we, and, and goodbyes are really hard and I understand that. And God knows me, right? He knows each and every one of us. So he knows exactly what um, what we're gonna do and what's going to happen. Uh, a lot of times that's why he might send messages like these to make it a little bit easier for you or to even encourage you. Don't forsake my purpose and my will because there is a, you have so many things hanging on you being obedient there are so many things hanging on that. There are so many people that are waiting to encounter you, to encounter what you have, to encounter, to encounter what gifts God has placed inside of you. They are waiting to encounter Jesus through your life. And if you are not in the place that God needs you to be, you are not going to fulfill that purpose. Um, so most important most, most important is that you walk your relationship out with Jesus. Go with him wherever he's leading you. In that place, you will find rest. In that place, you will find peace. Um, so he was telling me at that moment, if you don't leave, I can't do what I have to do here. I, I need you to move. right? And he's saying that to some of you. I don't know who this is for, 
But please, if this is for you, listen to the voice of God. If you, if you are in a position where God is telling you to move, he's taking you to another place, go. Because he will not be able to fulfill what he has to fulfill if you are in that position, if you're in that place, right? And then at the same time, while he's telling me this, he's also impressing on my spirit. Kristen, the place that I'm taking you, there's rest there. There is peace. And I literally felt peace and rest beckoning onto my spirit. It was almost as if it was calling me, come, come, right? Now is your time for this. Right, so some of you, God is calling you, and there may be some things, people, relationships, um, family, whatever it is, job that might be beckoning onto you to stay. But God is saying, when that time comes, when I call, answer the call, and you have to remove yourself. Right, so it is not may not be. The particular type of word you may want to hear um, but for you that understand fully what I'm saying it is something to rejoice and um, something to give God thanks for because now you're finally coming into that place of rest um, and then those people that you are no longer going to be a part of their lives God is going to fulfill all the things that he needs to fulfill in their lives. So it's a fulfillment of all things, right? Um, like for me personally, I've known people that have left their own country because God said, because God took them, because God bought them, right? And I believe that now is a time for them to see the fruit of their labor. Now is a time for them, for God to fulfill all that he is doing. And it, it is not for man to get the glory. You know, sometimes we, we could focus on, oh, well, this person, if we don't have this, or if we don't have that. No, if we don't have God, it is not going to be done. If we don't have the Holy Spirit, it is not going to be done because it is not in us to do anything right? Jesus said, I can do nothing but less the Father says, but less the Father guides me, but less the Father is telling me to do so. He wouldn't do a thing without God, right? His Father. And it's the same behavior, same temperament, the same behavior that we need to exact, right? We, we need to have that same type of mentality and the same type of behavior that we output right we want god's we want our father's will to be fulfilled right so i hope <laughs> i really end this okay and i just feel like my eye looks so silly i'm so sorry um but it's, it, it 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 is imperative it is imperative that you listen to the voice of god and when he's telling you to make a step to the left, make a step to the right, whatever that looks for you, it is very, very important that you do so. Because then you would be in the right place at the right time to be blessed, to get and to receive what God has for you. All right? Don't worry about everyone else because God got everything in his hands. What he's saying for you, he has those people in, in his hands. What he's saying for you, right, is move out of the way. If you don't move, I can't do what I have to do. I cannot do what I have to do if you're standing in the way of my will, right? Step aside and allow God to do what he alone can do. You can't do it. I can't do it. Only God can do it, right? So step aside, allow him to do what he's doing and you follow his lead. Amen? <sighs>
is God. Um, I hate to say it um, because, you know, as believers, we don't like to talk about things like this. We acknowledge it. We accept it. But we don't really like to talk about it. But one of the things that God was saying to me, the Holy Spirit was saying to me, was in the permanent, some permanent goodbyes would also come in the form of some people being outed um, to the kingdom of heaven. Um, I know we don't like to talk about, sorry. I know as believers, we don't like to talk about death. We don't want nobody to die. <laughs> we, you know, but you know, it's so beautiful. I have, I have a friend of mine and he really changed my mindset where this is concerned. And there was something that he would always say, which was, um, <laughs> you know, when his mission on earth is done, he don't want to stay here. He would say, beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> He would tell the Lord that. And I, I thought that to be so funny. But when I sat down and I really went over what he said, we as believers, we don't really live to die. We don't live to live the life of Christ, to die and go to heaven. We live because oh, we want to do this and we want to do that. And we, we want to do all these things. And... You know, it just dawned on me in that moment that are we really taking God seriously? Are we really serious about our relationship with God and who God is, who the Trinity is? Um, if we really are, we would live a life that is worthy of living before God, one, and two, we will not be afraid of death because we know that when we die, we are present with the, with the Lord. And many people know that, but they don't live to die. We live to live and we want to live forever, but we don't live to say, okay, I want to live. And as soon as I'm finished with my purpose on the earth and, and what God has for me to do, I want to go to heaven. A lot of people don't think like that. You know, so that that is just, and I, I feel like that was for somebody. That is profound. Let us, um, let us live that life that, praise God, hallelujah. Let us live that life that is worth living. And let us not be afraid to die. I hope I'm like relaying this in a way that is understandable. That is not like cruel or not insensitive. Right? Um, and I hope I'm making sense. And I know that who, the ha who has the ears to hear will hear what God is saying. Um, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So... I am going to read Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 2. This is the verse of scripture that the Lord gave me for this word. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down, a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to gain and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow a time to keep silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. It is time. 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 
do not ignore the prompting of the Holy Spirit. It is time. Do not hold on to emotions. Do not hold on to the things that he's asking you to let go of. Be obedient. It is time. Walk in your rest. Walk in his peace. Walk in understanding that he's leading you on. You're not alone. You're with Jesus and all is well with Jesus. Amen. Blessings to you. I just want to share this video of <laughs> Atlantic Avenue and what it looks like. So I have my other phone. I'm going to this. Press play. So this is a visual of what At Atlantic Avenue looks like. So this is where we're standing on the platform. Um, and it's an open area. So there's nothing that covers. So I was able to see the sun. Praise God. And the train that runs there is the L train. Right? So this is what I looked out at. So I was able to see the sun. Praise God. And it was so bright. It was bright as bright as a as a daytime. The sunset was as bright as the daytime. Didn't make any sense. Right? So that's all I'm gonna show. Praise God. That's all I'm gonna show. I just wanted to give you guys a little visual of what that actually looks like. So I am done. I hope that this truly blesses you. Um, I pray that God ministers to you through this vision and his words. Um, and that you would truly make Jesus your choice um, in life, in death. Um, that you will make Jesus your choice. Uh, it is important that we be obedient to him. Right? And I cannot stress that enough. Be obedient. Be obedient. Right? You don't want to know what it's like to stay or wander in the wilderness for some more years. Because you didn't want to say goodbye. Right? I do not want to know what it's like to stay in my position any longer than I need to. Lord... Help me to walk in your will, in Jesus' name. And that's all I'm asking, Lord, when the time comes. Help me to take your hand and step with you into the unknown. Into the unknown, wherever that is. That God, once you're with me, once I have your peace and your rest, I am walking with you, in Jesus' name, right? So be blessed. This is Kristen coming to you again from Chronicles of a Christian Girl. Thank you so much um, for tuning in, for listening in. If this sounds like something that you feel that someone else can benefit from, please share, right? And have a wonderful day. Please share and you can like the video and share. Amen. Blessings to you. Have a great and wonderful day. And peace and rest. Grace and peace and rest. Amen. <laughs> Blessings.